This fish is haunted. It was October 2015 and we'd been going through the mangrove jungles along the Arafura Sea on the south coast of Indonesian Papua, hopping from village to village in our motorboats, collecting art, dealing with the local people, and we're running short of fuel. So it was a time to make a run for the coast to a place called Agats. Very cool town, all built on stilts. If you ever make it to Papua, you have to see it. Filled up the fuel, took us a few days to score enough fuel. We're going up the river back into the jungles with our boat. And I'm looking outside with one of the boat boys and all of a sudden I see something floating around. And at the same time with the boat boy, we're like, wait a second, there's a big fish floating around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. And sure enough, we go past it and it was a giant garupa in Indonesian or grouper in English. So we decided we gotta get that fish. Loaded. That's Madre, Madre. Oof. It's totally fresh. Gee, mini Christmas. We finally maneuvered the boat beside the garupa, and obviously you have to wrangle it on board. It's a huge animal, and we didn't know how big it was. One of the team members was, "Oh man, I've got a gaff." We're like, "Bring the gaff." He says, "Ah oh, man, I left it in the village." However, then he's like, tell you what, we'll use an umbrella. We're like, what, an umbrella? Yeah, all right, pass the damn umbrella. So up the umbrella went, and it, possibly the first time that a group of that size was gaffed with an umbrella. This, this is like the highlight of the trip so far, oh, man. Right, man. Oh, yeah! Oof! Oh, oh, Are you kidding? Bloody amazing. I've seen such a huge. It's gonna break the boat. By the time we moved up the river and got close to the village, the people started getting out of the huts and started looking and you'll see at this fish and it was quite interesting as we moved up the river into the village the people started chasing after us because they'd never seen a fish that size by the time we were docked you're gonna see how the bridge is full of people they're just gawking at us they were absolutely speechless as much as we were <laughs> Now that the fish was safely on the ground, they all looked at us, we looked at them and said, hey, gift for the village, enjoy, there's plenty of meat to go around. At that moment, there were no takers, and we didn't quite understand, like, hello, how much fish do you want? And they were like, no, 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 this fish is haunted. What? Haunted? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's big. We've never seen anything that size. And then we had to call Vince Cole. Vince Cole has been the local parish priest in this remote village for the last 30 years, 35 years. An incredible individual. Vince Cole goes like, all right, let's do this, right? Bless, 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 eat the darn fish, and the fish was gone overnight. Of course, we wanted to have a memory of this unique event. And then, in a momentary lapse of reason, I decided to take the spine along. Uh, so we cleaned it up to the best of our abilities and carried it with us through the jungle for the better half of the next week. A rather smelly experience, but there you go, collecting is collecting. In the end, was it worth it? Yeah, man, it's a great piece, it's a great memory of a nice adventure I've had. And, uh, when you come by my place one sweet day and I ask you the quiz, what is this? You better know the answer, guys. Free beers are waiting for you for that. Yeah! All right, guys, until we see you again for the next video, share, care, contribute, smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to us. See you next time.